Hey, you two down there. What? what? You want to see something funny? Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Run. So welcome to 100 Days as Hero Brian, where my two friends have to survive 100 days against me as Hero Brian. Now that is not all that Hero Brian has. Let me show you what else I can do. And with the click of a button, you'll see I have a skill tree. So in this Hero Brian skill tree, I can upgrade my attacks, neutral abilities, and I can upgrade my defensive abilities. As Hero Brian, things are about to get crazy. And I see an achievement is earned in chat. Where did they go? They're gone. Okay. Well, with that being said, it is time to hunt them down. Let the 100 days as Hero Brian begin. I'm on my own. We've officially separated calls so they can't hear me anymore. And it is time to hunt them down. One of the big differences this time was I was supposed to play with the shader pack and they're not. So uh, I get the pretty perspective. Look at that little fish over there. Anyway, let's get going because we have a lot to do. I feel like my new survival world I set up for uh, us cool, that has no bad things happening in it. The bad things? There's no, there's no bad things happening. That's what I just said. Yeah, you just you just said that kind of weird. Like there would be bad things happening in it. Okay, whatever. What, what, what's our goal? What, what are we doing? Hey bro, we're just playing Minecraft. Here, you can have that. I'll trade you one of these. Uh, I was looking more for like a spruce seat sapling. Oh, what, what, what do you got that axe for? Oh, I guess to chop down the spruce tree that I asked for, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ow, I, what? <laughs> they left the area, but I'm thinking of just staying at spawn and using this cave to kind of get started. So I'm going to stay right here and start gathering. Let's see what we can actually, what we need for our first Hero Brine upgrade. So I think I probably want to go attack first, right? So if I get 64 iron ingots, 64 coal, and a wither skull, I will get strength one, speed one, and darkness. Strength 20? What is death? Death? Okay, that gets pretty crazy. What about neutral abilities? What are my neutral abilities? It looks like I can mine faster no hunger or finder fly and constant xp yo that's insane and what about defense i can just get up to 50 hearts okay cool that's pretty crazy so it looks like i have a lot of resource gathering to do so i guess we'll start by doing the basics and getting some wood my goal is not to die even once. Now, they're the ones who are actually having to survive the full 100 days without Hero Brian killing them. That is the challenge. Can they do it? I don't know. We'll find out. I think they can come close, though. So let's jump down here and see what down here has to offer. Okay, it gets pretty dark down here. And so I made a wooden pickaxe and quickly mined to get a lot of stone so I could make all the basic stone tools I was gonna need. Awesome. Stone tools acquired. Here we go. And throw in the iron. Here we go. Just speed this up slightly. There we go. Double production. Ha! Ah, just like that. Booyah. We got iron and we got iron. Perfect. So let's go ahead and let's make ourselves a shield. There we go. And there we go. We are now Hero Brian with a shield. Ha ha. We'll also make ourselves an iron chest plate. What is that? It's a glow squid. Look, we're buddies. Look, I have glowing eyes and you have a glowing body. I remember when I played Minecraft, the biggest thing we had to worry about was Hero Brian. <laughs> Good thing he's not real though. Yep, and then just like that, we're back at the base. We're gonna have to go to the service to get some food. Uh, I think that's gotta be our like urgent goal from here. We're doing pretty good. We got I we can make iron armor nice and easy. There we go. Now we're Hero Brian with iron armor. Look how pretty we are. Okay, now let's go back to the surface and let's get ourselves some food so we don't starve. Off we go! Hero Brian is on the move. Oh, wow, we got a ton of melons. Okay, there we go. All our food's cooking. Let that quickly cook up. Oh, hello. I think I thought you needed a bone to be my friend. Okay, there we go. Is that all our food? There we go. We're pretty good on food right now, and we're doing pretty good overall. We have full iron armor. Let's see how close we are to our first upgrade. So our first attack upgrade that we want is just basic strength, speed, and darkness, whatever that is. So the darkness ability actually appears to blind enemies when I throw it at them. It's a ball I can throw at people, so that's kind of cool. So for that, I only need 34 more coal, 48 more iron ingots, and I need uh, a wither skull. So I need to go to the nether, so we need to start planning for that. So for that, we're obviously going to need some obsidian. No, no, we don't need obsidian. What am I saying? I was going to go the hard route let's just do the water bucket route oh here i am i'm the blue dot right here is that a nether portal yeah that is definitely another portal so we should be heading there let's go over here and check this nether portal out oh perfect this is a good one i think come on give me something good okay maybe not curse of binding frost walker that could be useful at some point oh, none of that's really that useful and i can't mine the obsidian so total bust uh let's keep going Wow, one single diamond. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, right? Uh, you gotta be 
make a whole diamond shovel with it. Okay, cool. We're here at the lava. It is night, so we do want to be somewhat careful here. So let me go find a corner. I think what you do is you go to the third block. Yeah, I think this is right. And you put water right there. Yes, that's correct. And you break this block and boom, you got this. Okay, I'm kind of doing this by memory. And this is where I always get stuck, but I think you want to do something along the lines of... So let's see if I do it wrong again today. Yep, I did. It's okay. We got a bunch of lava left. We know it won't actually go farther than this. So we can just start grabbing lava and filling it. And there we go, we're in the nether. Perfect, now we can start completing our stuff. And here we go. Now we can get that wither skull and then we complete the mining and we'll be all set. Now the hard part, actually finding a fortress. If I'm lucky one will spawn near. See on the mini map, something over here. Oh yeah, I can see it, it's right there. Aha, it is here, boom. Okay, now we're here. Now we need to just make a bridge over there. And this is the part that worries me, taking on those guys. I believe they're three tall, so they shouldn't fit through this. And also just do this and they won't be able to get by. And I'll also just build myself a wall so I don't get knocked off. Now we can just bait them over. Come on. We just need one skull. Come to Papa. You are ugly, aren't you? And so I killed Wither Skeleton after Wither Skeleton until no more spawned. And I looked around this nether fortress everywhere for more, and I couldn't find even a single one anywhere. The fact that I can't even find a single wither skeleton is super annoying after those initial like three. If I can't find a wither skeleton, I can't level up. So I really got to look around. Okay, here you are. Time for you to die. Okay, wait, wait, whack, shield, whack. Did you drop one? Oh my God. Four down, who knows how many to go just to get one of these things. One eternity later. Ooh, what broke my shield? <gasps> I finally got it! Let's go! As my shield broke, I finally got this dumb thing. Oh my goodness, yes. Let's go. Over an hour of just grinding this. Oh my god. Okay, we're back in the world and everything is looking bright and colorful and Minecrafty. Okay, we got our skull. We now just need to make sure we have enough coal and iron to complete the upgrade and then we'll be all set to go. Here, sheepy, sheepy, sheep. Chickens, chickens and sheep. Chickens and sheep and maybe a cow. All right, all right, we got a baby. And so I went around mining, trying to get all the coal and iron I was gonna need to do it. It took a couple days, but after I was done, I had everything I needed to do my first upgrade. Is that enough, three? It is enough, that's actually exactly what we need. Oh my God, let's grab them. Then we just have to smelt and we can upgrade to our first power. Let's go. To do the upgrade, we need to smelt all the iron. So we'll do one, two, three. Nice. Will that work? Oh, it will. Okay, and done. Perfect, now we should be able to do the upgrade. Let's give it a shot. And then I click attack. I have everything I need to do it. Let's click it. Level up. You can see chat, it says level up and now I have infinite speed and infinite strength. That's right. So now I'm faster and stronger. Oh, with my first upgrade, I also got a darkness ball. Let's try this out. I don't know what this does. Well, if I throw it. Oh, I, okay, I can throw it infinitely. Can I hit myself? Let's try it. Okay, no, it doesn't look like it affects me, but it looks like it should give blindness according to my document. It should give blindness to anyone I hit with this. So anyway, let's go ahead, let's get going and let's make our way over to where they are. I'm gonna start making my way back to spawn and head in the direction they went in to hopefully find them and give them a scare. Cause if I get within 20 blocks of them, they start hearing heartbeats. Okay, so they've appeared on my mini map. They're right here. Okay, yep, their nameplates are still up here. It looks like they're gonna be in a village. We wanna sneak up on them best we can. Let's see, can we see this village? It's right over that hill. When I get close to players, it, uh, you'll hear it too. It starts to play heartbeats and it's terrifying. Here we go. Yeah, I can see their nameplates and their boat. Right, let's let's take their let's break their boats and take their boats. Okay, here we go. Ready? There's a phantom. Okay, let's dig to them. I gotta get pretty close for it to start playing, so we're just gonna keep going straight till it starts playing. Yeah, but, all right. Yeah, what? Do you hear that? I hear a heartbeat. Oh, it's loud. <laughs> that is really loud. Holy crap. There's things flying out in the distance. Here we go, it's playing. They can hear heartbeats now. So all they're hearing is heartbeat, meaning they know I'm close. You hear that? You hear that? Ah! He's outside. I blinded him, I blinded him. Oh, I hit you, I'm sorry. I'm blinding them. Oh, okay, so we hit him with my thing. It's He's in a house. Dude, would this thing leave me alone? Go away, get out of here.
Okay, let's make it day so that thing leaves me alone. We need to make a bed. Place the bed down right there. Nope. Okay, hopefully just sleeping in a bed should get that thing off me, I think. Let's make our way back to our victims. Uh, and let's go torture them some more. Okay, they don't know I'm here. Don't you dare ruin this. Don't you dare. Did you hear that? Okay, no, he's fighting something too. Oh God, thank God he didn't hear that. I thought I was in trouble. Just standing on the tree staring at him till he notices. Ready? Look at him. He doesn't even know I'm here yet. Not a fan of the heartbeats in my ear holes. He'll eventually turn and see me. <laughs> oh yeah, he sees me. <laughs> never run, never run, never run, never run. <laughs> oh, that's all I want to do is scare him. So let's look at some of our other upgrades and see what we can start working on here. So if we hit our upgrade button, we'll see our next one requires 32 under pearls and five diamonds, but it does give us the ability to have a infinite ender pearl pretty much. So that's pretty cool. So that would be pretty useful and I'd be strength three, speed three. So I'm really just gonna have to grind ender pearls, which I can do by going to the end. I can do it by trade. I believe I can also do it by trading might be the fastest way to do that with the hoglins that are in the nether. If I can find a bastion, I can likely get the 32 ender pearls I need. Then I just need five diamonds and I can do it. That one's not too difficult. On top of that, I can also do defensive, which is just gold. Really, I just need 24 gold ingots and I can get more health. That's really not that hard. What about the neutral one? What do I need for this? Just 10 emeralds? I can definitely do that if I can find a village. Now, the question is, where am I going to find a village? So we're just going to run and we'll hopefully eventually find one. And so I ran, I ran and ran. And I went through probably about three different plains biomes, none of which had a village. So uh, I was on the verge of giving up and doing something new, but luckily the fourth plains I found had a village. So we went to that village and uh, this is what happened. Okay, and let's go trade with some of the villagers and see what they have to offer. Cause we wanna get as many of these emeralds as we possibly can. You guys need to clean up your streets. A weaponsmith. Oh, if I get him 15 coal, he'll give me an emerald. A farmer. What? He'll do 20 wheat for an emerald. That's an even better deal. Wait, and I have all the hay bales. <gasps> okay, we ran out of wheat, but we were able to get 15 of the emeralds we were gonna need. That's pretty good. So let's just keep farming. It gives me 23. Come here. Oh, he's giving me a discount now. So that gives me 16 emeralds. Now I'm gonna need once again, 32. So we're halfway there. Yep, there we go, we got 17 now. If we could find pumpkins, that would be really OP. And pumpkins, dude, we are set. We are so set. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 of these, that's two more emeralds for just these pumpkins. Let's go back to our guy who's selling them. He's the farmer. There we go, 19. Twenty-six! We literally need six more emeralds. We're doing really, really good. And, uh, oh, I didn't see your trades. Okay, that's pretty good. The ten coal is probably gonna be... I'm probably gonna have to go with the ten coal. I'm gonna need a total of sixty coal to get this completed. So let's go get that done. Let's quickly make ourselves another iron pickaxe. And now let's go mining through the night to try and get uh, enough coal to then trade in the morning so we can then obviously wrap up our trades, then do our next upgrade, which after that we still need ender pearls, but that's okay. Ender pearls shouldn't be overly difficult to obtain. Hey, another mob dungeon destroyed. There we go, we got a golden apple. Is that enough? Oh my god, we have 61. It's just enough. Awesome, finally, let's go back to the village. We just gotta make our way out of here. No, here he is, right here. There we go, I got all of my need. Okay, now, for the upgrade, we literally just need to work on the second part, which just requires... So I had a little bit of a confusion. I realized for the last, like, I've been saying that I was gonna go for next attack upgrade with 32 emeralds, but that says 32 wow. ender pearls. But lucky for me, I got confused because this one only required 10 emeralds, which means we've had enough for quite a long time to do our first upgrade. Let's do it. So we've leveled up our first neutral, so now we mine faster. Yeah, we're gonna need five emeralds for level four, so we have that already taken care of and five emeralds for the next one. So we already have all our emeralds taken care of. That's all the emeralds we're going to need for pretty much the entire attack upgrade. We just need to worry about getting diamonds, ender pearls, and everything else taken care of. So this is where the grind kind of begins a little bit and uh, we, we get to test things out. So let's first test out our new neutral power. How much faster do we mine? It doesn't feel much faster. Is it faster? It says haste five. 
I don't feel like I'm breaking things faster, am I? No, I'm definitely breaking dirt faster. Okay, well with emeralds now complete, it's now on to our next objective, which is gonna be ender pearls. You think Harabrine's in the woods watching us right now? I think Harabrine's in our heart. <laughs> <laughs> He's not the <just> same. <laughs> okay, so now we just gotta find a bastion. So let's first things first, put on our golden boots again. And so I searched and searched the nether and it took me three days to actually find a bastion. There were no bastions anywhere. I just kept looking. It turns out, by the way, there's a website you can use to find bastions, but I didn't know about that till Bruh. after. So, uh, whoops. Okay, let's go up here. Anything? Oh, yo, that is one. <gasps> we literally found one. Oh, how do I get over there? It's easiest if I can actually get over here. Okay, we made it over. I want to be really careful because we want to make a hole to trap them in. Let's do it. Oh, he's just going to hurt me. Oh, ow. Hey, dude, that's not cool. I thought they didn't attack on sight. Okay, we lived. We're fine. Just got to change my strategy up slightly. Okay, I'm going to make the hole. Gold block. More gold. Okay, we got a lot of gold. I think we just got to go lower though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me drop some gold, see if they'll trade it. Okay, now they're trapped in here. I can just trade them in here until I get the ender pearls I need. Here we go. Okay, we'll wait here and see how many ender pearls we get after these trades. How many ender pearls did I end up getting? Um, not enough. Oh, we got eight more. How many is that? That's 24. That's not bad, actually. Come on. We need 32 ender pearls. We need, I, I think, eight more. Yeah, we need eight more. Okay, looks like that's all we're going to get. Leave those guys trapped there for a sec. Okay, I found out where they were all stuck. They're all stuck in this corner. I am completely surrounded by them right now. And I don't know where. Oh my god. Oh, it goes all the way down here. Whoa. Okay, it's huge. That's where we want to get to. Going for it. We made it. Nice. Not a, no gold though. Okay, no. Okay, there's so there's a gold block. I literally missed a gold block that was right next to this spawn chest. Get that. Yo, a chest. Oh. Oh! That's good. That's really, really good. Ooh, I heard someone. Where is he? Ooh, a chest. <gasps> Two more. Yo! That could be enough for the trade. That could be enough. All right, you guys take all this gold and uh, do your thing. Come on, more. Yeah, there we go. We got some more ender pearls. Let's go. So yeah, we know we need five. We need five. We need five. Oh, yo, we got three more. That's 14. We need two. In fact, let's step away. We're going to just walk into the pile when it's done. They threw more ender pearls. I saw more pop up. Where are they? Do I have them? Oh, I have them. I have them. I have them. We have them. We have 16. We have 32. We have 32. We're out of here. We're gone. That's a fire breathing potion. I'm taking that just to be safe. In case I got to dive into the lava on my escape. And let's get out of here. We literally have all we need. Our next upgrade, excuse me. Five diamonds. We literally just need five diamonds and we have one. We need four diamonds. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get back to the nether portal. Okay, finally made our way back over to the old nether portal and we can just use this to quickly get right over here. We're back in the overworld. Beautiful. We're here. It's night. It looks like we're on day 18. Nice. Uh, so let's go. Let's find some diamonds. Obviously, where it's about to be night, we're going to dip underground really fast. Okay, let's get our next hero brand upgrade. We need to find those diamonds. Okay, and the only way we're really going to do that is if we go down and actually mine. We only need four, so we really we have to find one vein of diamond really to be good so that's all we're gonna really look for we don't have to go crazy or anything we just want to find a good cave for it something that goes really deep into like deep slate and stuff all right let's see if this leads anywhere oh whoa whoa we got a big one. Oh, oh is this a geode oh we just shielded that in time <gasps> three hearts cool well we found a geode not exactly what we're looking for but that's still cool uh so what are we look how, well how deep are we we're we are deep enough for diamond. Shield's still doing fine. Let's keep looking for those diamonds. We're still below Y12, so we'll be good. I think that's how it works in the new version. It's still Y12, right? Ooh. Not seeing many diamonds down here, unfortunately. But we are low enough for them, so we could just start a strip mine and look for them that way. I don't know if strip mining's even effective anymore. Oh, that's a witch. And so I went from cave to cave to cave looking for diamonds in hopes that I would find some. And it took me forever to find the right cave that actually had diamonds. I probably went through at least 10 caves before I found one that led me to the diamonds I needed. <gasps> Let's go. I think I see some. No, dude. Oh, there's more on the floor. Please be more. Dude, are you serious? It's one again. I need one more. I literally need one diamond or two dot. <gasps> the exact amount I needed, literally sticking out of the wall. Oh, it's more than the exact amount I needed. Oh, nice. Look at that secret little hidden one. <gasps> no way. No way. What were the odds of that? Look at all these. <gasps> I just got so many diamonds. 
14! We can upgrade. Let's upgrade. We got it. Boom. Level two complete. We should have... What is it? Teleport? Oh my god. I'm invincible. <laughs> so with the next upgrade now complete, it was time to go torture my friends with my new powers. So we have everything we obviously need now. We're doing good. We got teleport. We got darkness. So I'm going to go torture. I think my friends find them real quick. But after that, I think we're going to work on getting all the way up to the at least ore finder. So we're going to get the 500 cooked pork chops. We need to find 10 diamonds and 32 gold ingots, which shouldn't be too difficult. It's just going to take a little bit of grinding. And after that, finding ores is going to be way easier. And getting the upgrades after that is going to be pathetic pathetically easy and that's what we're gonna need to get fully upgraded and defeat the two people that I want to kill but obviously it's no fun to kill them in my current state we gotta murder them with all of the hero brine power that's what's fun because the way I want to kill them is with the death ball see it says d-e-a-t-h I'm assuming it's a ball I throw it and death appears so let's go find them and harass them some more and so I went after my friends but it turns out they had moved bases and now they were over 3,000 blocks away and I have no idea what terrain was gonna be in between but it turned out it was pretty much all ice and snow. Luckily, I went through all of it. I finally caught up to them, and now it was time to have my fun. Okay, according to my mini-map, they're not too far. They're pretty much 500 blocks east. So just keep going this way for now, and we should get to them. We're much faster, luckily, so we are making pretty good time. Would it be faster if I threw this, actually? Oh my god, I've been running this whole time, and I could be using this to go way faster. <gasps> it's so good! Oh, they're traveling on ice. They're using boats on ice to go fast. Yeah, we're gonna be able to meet them here. Ready? Here we go. Cut them off, cut them off, cut them off. Oh my god. Oh, they crashed. This is my chance. Go. I don't know if this is faster or not because it takes away my speed. I don't know if I can catch up to them. I'm gonna have to cut them off again. How do I do that? I'm gonna have to go up here. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, they're out of this igloo. Here. They're underground. Who's a pill- Oh! Oh! Stop! Oh, that did half my heart! And we're gone. Oh, and we're gone. Yeah, okay, that did a lot of damage, but that's okay. I think we went in and gave them, a, they definitely were caught off guard. Give them a little spook, remind them we're still here. Okay, gave them the little scare we needed, but it's still not enough. Teleport and darkness, it's cool, but it's not enough to really do much damage or scare them or intimidate them. We need more. So to do that, we're definitely gonna have to get the ability to fly. Gonna have to have ore finder. Constant EXP is great for enchanting, but we're definitely have to get faster and get all of these other types of power like wither, nausea, and death. Now that will scare them. So let's work on getting the or finder. So we need 500 cooked pork chop. Now this part is going to take forever. I need to go on a pig slaughter fest and basically murder mm, how many pigs are we talking? 500 at least. Well, no, probably under 500. But it's gonna be hundreds of pigs. Hundreds of pigs are about to feel the wrath of my sword and uh, you're about to watch it happen. How close are we? Is that enough? Hold on. I need to do some quick math. So I need like another stack and I think I'll be all set. Another stack of pork chops and we'll be good to go. So when this reaches a stack, I think I have enough, but we're really close. There we go, 64, we have it. We can do the upgrade. No more hunger. Wait, nope. What? I got too excited. 500 cooked up, oh, right. Gotta cook it. And now we'll split this one up as well. And that should just double it real quick. We're getting close. We're getting really close. 52, still too low. That's it. It was 51 or 52. I don't know which it was, but that's enough. Here we go. The second neutral upgrade. We have no more hunger. Oh, what just happened? Is that natural? We no longer need to worry about food. We can toss out everything food related. We don't need it. Literally useless to us. We have food. We've gotten the second neutral upgrade. The next is ore finder, which is the one we want. We need 10 diamonds and 32 gold. The gold, easy peasy. The diamonds, not so much. Let's go. I finally found two diamonds in one day. Whoa. Proud of you. All right, when we get home, we set up a hidden chest that Ryan can't steal our cool stuff from. Oh, we got some gold. There we go. Finally found something at least. Got a piece of gold. Oh, diamond. How many? Five, six, five, five. Did we already have diamonds? Did I already have diamonds? Oh my God, from earlier, I got more diamonds than I needed, I think, didn't I? Hold up. I needed five. And so now I, I think I'm already good on the diamonds. Oh my God, I have enough. So that only took a day. That was a lot easier than I was expecting. I thought the diamonds was at least going to take me two or three days. But we did it in a day. So let's go back up. Let's go find some gold because uh, all we need left is 32 gold and we're good to go. But the gold turned out to be a little bit more tricky than I thought. Overworld gold is not as common as I expected it to be. So finding it turned out to be extremely difficult. Ooh, more diamonds. Oh, they just found diamonds. Oh yeah, one diamond, baby. Oh, gravel. Gold. Yeah, yeah, I see gold. Oh, there we go. Got some gold. Ooh, at least five. There we go. 19, 21. We need 11 more. 
right here. We got more. Perfect. That's six. We need four more gold. Oh my God. There's some on the ceiling. <gasps> we're one short. Really? No, we're actually two short. God, this cave spawns so many mobs. It's gotta be more gold in here though. It's huge. Gold. I see the gold I need, but it's in a pretty dangerous spot. One gold. Two. That's all we need. Yes, let's go. We have everything we need. Let's make our way back to the surface and let's get everything cooked up. And then we have the ore finder ready to go in just a couple days. Okay, all the gold I think is done except for there we go. And now all the gold's done. And there we go. That should be 32 or 33 technically. That should be enough to level up. Let's go ahead. Let's do it. Go ahead, click our neutral button, click ore finder, and we now have the ore finder set up and working. So all we have to do is go to options, controls, keybinds. Here we go. And we're just gonna go ahead and set this key. Okay, now as you can see in the world, every block is translucent. So if I look through the ground, I can now see all the ores below the ground and I know where to find them. Finding diamonds, finding emeralds, just got 10 times easier. Now let's turn this off because this is actually really hard to see and walk around with this on. Okay, so with X-Ray now available to me pretty much, I can now find ores wherever they are simply by hitting that key. So nice and easy. The next thing I need is fly. And to do that, I'm gonna need 500 feathers and 10 diamonds. Now we already have nine diamonds, so the diamonds are gonna be super easy to do. However, 500 feathers is basically the same challenge we just did for all the no hunger challenge, except now we're doing it with chickens who don't always drop feathers either. So to make this a bit easier, we're gonna try and get looting on our sword before going to fight the chickens. In doing that, we should be able to get the 500 feathers we need way faster, okay? So let's go ahead and let's get the looting on our sword. Uh, and to do that, I'm gonna need an enchanting table. Wait, I don't have one of those. I'm gonna make my way back to the surface because I'm having no luck. I think I'm gonna have to just do it the old fashioned way of creating obsidian because this is taking too long to find a proper like obsidian patch. Okay, so we're back up on top and uh, we have to make our way to lava, which I see some lava over here, it looks like. Perfect, this is actually a really clean one. Okay, let's go over to this water. This patch will do. I break obsidian so fast with haste. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's see. We have the four obsidian. We need two diamonds. Are there two books and a diamond? All I know is I think I just need a book. So let's go get a book. Oh my God, unicorn's right nearby. Look at my mini map. I just got rid of our, or you're not rid of, uh, yeah, rid of harvested our- uh, uh, I'm, I'm getting heartbeats. <gasps> He's right under me. <laughs> I'm scaring him so much. I can imagine him seeing me underwater and being like, what? Don't come here. I, I, of course I'm coming back. Why would you bring him here? It's our place of solitude. He already knows. That was funny. That was just an accident to bump into too. He might be going to the village I've been using. So if I'm pre-hiding there, oh my God, I can cut him off. Oh, this will be funny. This will be so funny. Did he see me? Oh yeah, he's looking right at me. Just so he gets the heartbeats, I'm gonna bury myself. Now he won't know I am and I'm gonna be scaring him so much. Oh man, I'm not a fan of like the heartbeats, man. He sees me. Okay, I left. I'm over the hill. He can't see me anymore. I'm gone. Or so he thinks. <laughs> I think I've done too much. I'm out of here. I'm just gone. Uh, I'm, I'm getting out of here. There he goes. Goodbye. He turned around. I wonder if you can see my glowing eyes from there. Oh, I see him. Look, 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 look. There he is. She's going to keep staring. Meow. <laughs> Okay, anyway, we have work to do. We gotta keep working on obtaining as many feathers as possible, which starts with us making a book, which means we need to find some cows because we need to get that enchanting table, get looting on the sword, then murder a billion chickens. That's a cow. You're mine. So let me see if I remember this crafting recipe off the top of my head. Wop makes paper. Wop wop makes book. We got it. Yeah. You know, you can definitely tell what kind of Minecrafter you're dealing with if they Instead of saying a house, they say base. What kind of Minecrafter says base? The kind that you probably don't want to hang around, let me be real honest with you. Now let's see if we can get uh, looting on the iron sword first. I don't see it, so we're not gonna worry about that. So instead, we're gonna go ahead and craft ourselves diamond sword. And then we're gonna go ahead and put it in this table and see what we get this time. Looting. Ooh. No looting. I struggled and struggled trying to get the looting enchantment and had no luck getting it at all. So I did a little bit of research and found out if you make wooden swords, it's a way more effective method to test out enchantments. So with that new knowledge in mind, I was gonna get the looting enchantment. Okay, this next batch. Oh, yes, we got, we have looting. But I don't wanna wait, I don't wanna do it on a wooden sword. Can I swap swords? I think I can, please work. <gasps> yes, we got a looting one sword and it's unbreaking three, let's go. I can finally trash all these stupid wooden swords. Okay, so we still need four more diamonds. We'll for now focus on getting the chickens because with looting, we should get way more from our chickens. I don't care about you. Okay, you, how many? We're at seven now, that's now nine. So now they seem to be dropping at least two every time consistently. That means I'll have to kill half as many. That's so, it's such good news. Gimme. 
Gimme. What does that put us at? 23? Okay, well, from here, we're just gonna keep grinding feathers. So, uh, I guess, uh, I'm not gonna bore you with murdering a million chickens. So, here's a montage of me killing, like, probably a billion chickens. <laughs> It took so much time in between finding each group of chickens that it ended up taking five full days to get all the feathers that I needed. Okay, this should be it. Booyah, what are we at? 59, I think that's enough. Now we just need to get the four diamonds really quick, which we can do with the ore finder. It should only take us a second anyway. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn on the ore finder. Okay, the ore finder is on. Um, with shaders, it's very hard to see, but if I zoom in, I can see what ores I'm looking at. Now, it's very hard to see the floor. So I gotta be extra, extra careful. There we go. Okay, we have 10 diamonds. Let's see what upgrades we can do. Let's turn off the ore finder real quick. Okay, let's see what upgrades we can go ahead and do. So if we go to our neutral category, we can now get fly. Level up. So we now have the ability to fly. So if I double tap space, you'll see I can fly in survival like I'm in creative mode. Look how scary this looks. The glow of the eyes flying at you in the darkness. Like this is going to be terrifying and I love it. It also keeps me safe from ground mobs now. This gives me a massive, massive advantage. Let's just actually get some more gold real quick. I'm sure we can quickly find some flying around the cave. In fact, there's some right here on the ceiling. We now have enough to do the first health upgrade as well. Okay, let's fly on out of this cave. Let's go ahead and with this new upgrade, let's work on getting our next attack upgrade while we're at it. Let's level that up and also get our new wither attack ability. Then we're gonna go attack the two people and see what we can do with all those upgrades. We'll also work on getting the health upgrade at the at the same time, you know? Okay, so let's make a new nether portal uh, in our new village because I don't wanna have to travel far just to go get a nether portal and we have a perfectly good water cave right here, and I got two buckets to solve this problem. Boom, there we go, nether portal done. Light this bad boy up, and let's go back to the nether, because we need 10 wither skulls. Okay, so this is it. Uh, oh, we got some right here, hello friends. Oh no, don't walk off the edge. Just stay below me where I can whack you and you can't whack me. I need 10 of your skulls, please. And with a looting sword, that might be a little easier. But I still got zero out of those three. And so I went ahead and murdered a bunch of wither skeletons. And with the looting sword, it was a bit easier. It still took a full eight days just to get all 10, but it was totally worth it with the next upgrade. <gasps> yes, yes, 10, that's 10. We got it, we got all 10, finally. What day are we on? 51, dude, that's been like seven days, eight, seven? Okay, that's 10, so we can do the attack upgrade. Strength five, speed five, and wither. Ow! Okay, I leveled up. Now let's see what that actually does. Let's, oh my God. Okay, let's go back to the overworld to actually test this out. But I think we now have the ability to give things wither. Here's our portal right here. Okay, so their base is right here. We're back at it. It's the middle of night. So we're gonna go fly up to the base real quick and mess with Zach some more. Uh-oh. Whoa, uh -oh. I, heard, I heard him. I hear him. Yeah, he can definitely hear it. He can definitely hear it. Uh, Luke, he's on the wall. Uh, okay. Get him off the wall. Okay. I'll try. Oh, he's aiming. He took aim. Ah! The guardian or the, the phantom hit me off. Okay, here we go. We're gonna give him a little taste of the medicine. But yeah, he's here. Where are you? Ah! I'm in the you can't shield it. It's wither. And you know what? Just for good measure. Oh, he's, he's killing our sheep. Goodbye, Zach. <laughs> okay, we have killed him with our hero Brian powers and we have literally just melted his sheep out of existence. So with that, we're gonna go back to our village and start working on all the final upgrades because I wanna do one final push, get as many upgrades as I can and then finish this off once and for all because I won't lie, these hero Brian powers are so strong, it's time to stop messing with our food and it's time to finally kill them and show them the real strength of Hero Brine. Right now, we have almost all the neutral upgrades done. All we need is 30 levels, which we have, and a glass bottle, and we will be done with the neutral upgrades. So, we're gonna go ahead and simply do that. All we have to do is make a crafting table, because we forgot our other one. And then we just need a glass bottle, which obviously for that, we just need some sand real quick. So let's just go fly over here, grab the three sand. Let's go ahead and get this smelted up. Three, there we go. And perfect, we got the three glass we need. Go ahead and put these in here, boing, boing, boing. We got ourselves some glass bottles. Now we should be able to do the level up for our last neutral upgrade. And there we go, we've leveled up for our last neutral upgrade, which means we are now getting constant XP. So you're gonna notice over time, we're just gonna randomly gain a level. So, yep, there it is, nope, now we're level two. Give it one more second and we'll be level three. And boom, level three. So it's that easy. So we're gonna gain levels like crazy just by doing normal tasks over time. So nice and simple. The next upgrade we wanna go ahead and work on. Let me go get somewhere safe. Okay, then we have the attack 
zone, which I still have to do. To do the attack, I still need five emeralds and five diamonds. Again, really easy to do now that I have ore finder. And then for the last one, it's a bunch of different ores. But once again, really easy to do because I have ore finder. Now the emeralds, I think I'm already good on, or I only need a few more. So that's not going to be too hard. The diamonds, easy. Iron, easy. Coal and gold, easy, easy. The emeralds might be the only slight challenge, but we'll get there when we get there. The first challenge is going to be these 1,000 lily pads that I need to collect to get strength 10, speed 10, and nausea 10. 1,000 lily pads is like double the amount I needed of everything else. I guess the only thing is I don't have to kill it. So yeah, this is just going to take a while. So let's go find a swamp. Let's go find some lily pads and let's go collect a thousand of them so we can get this upgrade done with. Oh, yes, a swamp! Look at all of the lily pads. Now we just go ahead and collect these. It's gonna be easy. We just fly around the water. And now we're just gonna collect a thousand of these. Yep, I was like, I think I see one over here. I missed a couple. Okay, that's 23. Let's keep grinding. And it took me another four days of grinding lily pads just to get to 1,000. So after four days, I was finally able to level up. Okay, we need, okay, it's one. Two, there we go. That's our time. Okay, let's find the chest. It should be over here. Here it is. Oh, I still need five emeralds and diamonds. Okay, I got the emeralds. I don't have the diamonds. Let me quickly go get those. Hold on. Okay, let's find some diamonds. Okay, let me hit the ore finder hotkey. Okay, we got it on. And booyah, we got some diamonds right here. And this should be enough for the upgrade, actually. Now let's level up, go to the attack section, and boom, all the lily pads are gone so we can pick everything up. And we have leveled up again, meaning our new power is not the nausea ball. We can give nausea to anyone we throw this green ball at. Oh, let me, let me turn ore finder off. Okay, now let's go ahead and fly on out of here real quick. And let's go test this nausea ball out on Unicorn and Eskrima. Oh, dogs. Here, I'm going to try and tame some of them. Uh-oh. He's here. Yeah, he's right on me. Oh, I see him. He tried to make, he made me nauseous. Okay, we made him nauseous. Let's go. Where did Luke go? I want to, I want to get Unicorn Man as well. He's, he keep, he kept going. I'm going to make him nauseous too. So he's on the ice. Is he faster than me on ice? We can't even keep up with him on this. But he's got to crash. He's going to crash. Yeah, he's going to crash at thin points. That's our chance to really get him. Oh, he's running. Go, 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 go. He's got a crash. Yes. Goodbye. Enjoy your nausea. Here we go. We got him right here. Nope, no, no. He was, oh, he's being tricky. Come on. He's got to crash eventually. Come on. Get over here. Oh, boy. Okay. Yep. You definitely don't want to be nauseous while on a boat. Here, O'Brien will take your boat out. No, he, oh, I got it. Yes. Oh, we got back in a no. Look at him go. He's nailing this ice sliding. Oh, right into the water, though. Right into the water where you're slow and you're a sitting duck. Oh, I missed still. I still missed. Even with that, I missed. Don't you dare die. No, are you kidding me? Mine. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to nod him. Ready? They give him some nausea and we're gone. We'll leave him alone. We'll leave him alone. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and let's just get that final upgrade taken care of. Let's get all the ores we're going to need for that. We're also going to go ahead, get our health boost taken care of. So we're going to need at least 70 something gold, maybe even more if we want to get some of these other ones. We'll see how much we get. We're going to go on a massive mining trip right now, see how much we can get and get the final upgrade. Okay, let's head on down to the mine and let's use the ore finder and get uh, pretty much as many diamonds as we possibly can. Let's just make sure this is a deep enough cave. Uh, it actually may not be. This might be a pretty shallow ravine. Let's just look for a different uh, cave then. That one's probably not going to work. This will work. And this is spawn. Let's get down diamond territory, shall we? Okay. And now let's just enable the ore finder. Okay. Ore finder enabled. Now let's ore find ourselves some diamonds, shall we? Two, three, four. See, just like this, we're already almost done with diamonds. The gold's probably going to be the toughest with the amount, just the amount we have to get. Okay. Hear me out. We get a cow and we trap them somewhere in the middle of this lake here, okay? So when we're in our boat duel, okay, we can do flybys with a bucket and um, get milk. So if he hits us with that nausea or, or wither or whatever the heck he's got, uh, we could just get rid of it real quick. Okay, let's just focus up on, uh, let's get a bunch of gold. We need a ton of gold, like an absolute boatload of gold. We currently only have 18. Okay, so we are done with mining, I think. I think this is enough gold and other materials to make this work. So how far do we have to go to get to our village? Where are we currently? I'm actually, I have no idea where we are. And eventually we'll get to our village. When we get to our village, we'll smelt up all the gold we have, and then we'll find out if it's enough, because I believe it should be, because we definitely have the 20 diamonds, the 20 emeralds, and the 64 iron and coal, and the 30. So we'll definitely get this attack upgrade. The question is, how many health upgrades are we going to have? Is it going to be enough to get the three full bars? 
bars of HP? I think it should be, but we're gonna find out here. Okay, so uh, let's go to the furnace and we only have one. I forgot the other got destroyed by a creeper. Hey, there was some gold in there, that works. We got 33 extra coal to help with the smeltings. That gives us a total of 41. And so uh, we only have enough to make one more furnace, but let's do it. Let's make another furnace. In fact, we should probably make more than one furnace. So let's just quickly take down, I guess, this piece of wood. Go ahead and use the crafting table. Let's make ourselves some more furnaces. Here we go. Now we can just split some of these up. So we'll just take half of this coal, half of this coal, and we'll throw that in there with that. There we go. Let's get our first upgrade because I think we can do it. Yes, we can. Let's get the final attack upgrade. Here we go in the death ball. Boom. We now have all five of Hero Brian's powers. Darkness, teleport, wither, nausea, and now death, which is a ball that if I throw it at something will die immediately. You. Oh. See, died immediately. And the ball has a minute cooldown if I miss. So you see I missed? Now I have a minute cooldown before I'm able to throw the ball again. So I want to make sure that I don't miss when I go in for this. But this is the final upgrade I need. Now we're just going to get a bunch of gold and level up our HP. So there we go. That's enough to get our first HP upgrade. That gets us to three bars of HP. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Let's see if we can get another one. I think that can get us our next level. It can. Boom. We have four now. Now how many do we have for the next one? 56. Is there 56 in here? 14, 2, 3, 16, so that's 30 plus 5, 35, 36. There's 40 something gold left and it said what, 56? Okay, well that finishes smelting. Let me go grab some more gold real quick. I'm thinking we make large towers of lava um, throughout our ice skating ring. Maybe, maybe if we're lucky, Ryan will run himself into one. Uh, we got the gold. Let's quickly bring it back, get that smelted, and then we'll get the next health upgrade. And then we're gonna have five rows of HP. There we go. Is that enough? Yes, it is. There we go, and we have five rows of hearts. So the only upgrade that we really aren't gonna get is this last one, which requires another 60 gold, which would really just get us another row of hearts. But I don't even think we're gonna need that. I think with all these levels and stuff and all this good armor, we are gonna be perfect for this final battle. So let's go ahead, let's make uh, make ourselves some upgraded. I don't even think we need the armor. No, I think we win this final battle without armor. Hero Brian, real Hero Brian does not use armor or a sword. No, he uses his powers, meaning that's what we're going to use for this final fight. We're going to win this thing with only our powers, which should be possible because I got the death ball. Now it's time to hunt them down and finish them off for good. Okay, they should be in this ice biome. I got my death ball ready. I'm ready for this fight. I have no armor on. I don't even need the shield. Get rid of the shield. We're not even going to use the shield. We're going to be what Hero Brian was meant to be, just intimidating on his own with his terrifying skin and white glowing eyes. This game is pretty... What is that lava pool? This game's pretty much... Oh, they see me? Oh, hey, he's here behind you. <laughs> hey, they're all, they're both nauseous. Oh, I missed the boat. There was a fake boat. Okay, well, I'm destroying that boat and taking it. We're taking the boat slowly but surely. They may have a bunch. This is their plan to fight me on this where they have speed. Can, they can take on my speed. But if I give them nausea, there's not much they can do. There we go. Let's give them some wither. Kill off the dogs, shall we? My dogs. Good to take out his boat ready. Yeah, boat's gone, baby. What? Hey, they're off the boat. This is my chance to get one of them with the death ball. Here we go. No, what is that? Boom, gone. Death ball, baby. Let's go. Just like that, he is gone with the death ball. Zach, your doggies. You can do it. Okay, let's take care of the dogs. Get unicorn with wither. This is over. This is over. Oh, the cooldown's already over on my death ball. I, I may not have activated because I hit. Come on. No, we missed. Oh, that was it. I thought I had him. Oh, he's running. He's on the move. Oh, we got him with the wither. His dog's hurting. Wait, am I faster running? Oh my God, I might be faster running now. Oh, I'm faster running. I'm just as fast. I didn't realize I'm faster on the ground now with speed 20. Look at me. Woo! You can't even catch me with an ice bow, baby. Come here. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Hit me? <laughs> you missed. We got the death ball ready. Here we go. We can end this here. We just can't miss. No! Oh, come on. You're fighting here, Brian, baby. No armor. Let's go. Oh man, this fight is so intense, man. Oh, he's going for a whack, but I got infinite saturation, baby. You're not doing a thing to me. We got the death ball. Here we go. Rush me. Do it. Do it. No! How did I miss again? Okay, we got the death ball in like a few seconds here. Oh, man. This is really intense. Sun setting. This is going to be a night battle in a minute here. This is my chance. Here we go. Yes! Victory! Finally got him with the death ball. GG's. Oh, my God. That death ball kept missing you. 
What a fight that was. Oh my god, that was intense. You guys were just ice skating around. Thank you guys so much for watching 100 Days as Hero Brian. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on it. If we get to 30,000 likes on this video, we will release the Hero Brian mod to the public. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all later. Bye, guys.